Welcome to Reith Riley Construction. We're glad to have you on our team. At Reith Riley, please know that safety comes before all else. Safety of our employees, safety of our customers, and safety of the traveling public. We approach our work based on safety first, quality second, and then production. By doing so, everyone remains safe. We produce quality work and we are productive. Reporting time will be determined at the job site or office you are to report to for each workday. On each scheduled workday, you are expected to be on time and ready to work. Consult with your supervisor to determine payday on your project. If you have any physical limitations, report them to your supervisor. When it is necessary for you to be absent from work, you are to notify your supervisor or office manager by the beginning of your shift. If you have a need to be excused from work, obtain permission from your supervisor to be absent from your site. If your absence from work is due to a serious medical condition, you may be covered by the Family and Medical Leave Act, or FMLA. To be considered for this benefit, afforded by this law, you should contact your supervisor, office manager, or Reith Riley's Human Resource Department as soon as possible to determine your eligibility. Reith Riley maintains zero tolerance towards drugs and alcohol in the work environment. You are prohibited from reporting to work or to perform work when under the influence of intoxicating beverages or illicit drugs. If you are on medication that can impair your performance, or are on a maintenance medication, such as insulin, report this to your supervisor. The possession of firearms or common commercial weapons on the premises of Reith Riley is strictly prohibited. Misuse or misappropriation of Reith Riley property or property of another, be it customer or fellow employee, will not be tolerated. Theft of Reith Riley owned or controlled property such as tools, equipment, etc., will be considered a prosecutable offense. It is Reith Riley's policy that all employees are entitled to a work environment free from all forms of unlawful discrimination. Reith Riley is an equal opportunity employer and as such will not tolerate unlawful discrimination in hiring, promotion, transfer, demotion, compensation, termination, or any other employment-related decision. Any employee who believes they have been the victim of discrimination or harassment should discuss the matter with their immediate supervisor or with Reith Riley's Human Resources Department. Both horseplay and fighting are prohibited. Ethical conduct is our standard of doing business at Reith Riley. The reputation of Reith Riley is built upon the principles of fair dealing and ethical conduct of every employee. The continued success of Reith Riley is dependent on our customers' trust, and we are dedicated to preserving that trust. In general, the use of good judgment based on high ethical principles, including being professional and honest in all dealings during working and non-working hours, will guide you with respect to acceptable conduct. Displaying at work a high standard of business ethics and conduct is the responsibility of every Reith Riley employee. Disregarding or failing to comply with this standard of business ethics and conduct could lead to disciplinary action up to and including possible termination of employment. Reith Riley has a return to work or RTW program. The program was developed to bring injured workers back to work as soon as possible after an injury. Reith Riley will make every effort to provide light duty work within the medical restrictions assigned by a physician. Soft tissue injuries affect the musculoskeletal structure, the joint tissues, the ligaments, tendons, and muscles. Normal activities can lead to soft tissue injuries. They can happen suddenly or affect you over a long period of time. Types of soft tissue injuries include sore muscles, strains, sprains, bruises, inflammation, pinched nerves, and numbness or tingling sensations. Soft tissue injuries among construction workers tend to affect the neck, back, shoulders, 
hands, wrists, and knees. Wreath Riley has a mandatory stretching program to prevent soft tissue injuries. The stretching program should be done daily, once in the morning before you begin work, and when needed throughout the day. Respect your supervisor's instructions on performing your work activity safely and properly. Remove or report any hazard found. The next person that may get hurt could be you. Report all injuries and accidents immediately to your foreman or supervisor. Have all injuries treated immediately. Employees are required to attend toolbox safety talk meetings. Other safety meetings will be conducted when necessary. Attendance will be required as directed by your supervisor. Never operate vehicles or machinery without first obtaining proper instruction and authority. Heed all signs. They are there for your protection and must be strictly observed. Protective glasses, face shields, goggles, tow guards, or safety harnesses or lanyards are a must when the operation requires them or as directed by your supervisor. All personnel working or exposed to traffic conditions will be provided with and will be required to wear company-provided warning vests or other approved apparel. The apparel shall be in good condition for the purpose of providing visibility to motorists. Hearing protection is required where high noise levels, usually in excess of 90 decibels, exist. These levels may be found around jackhammering, pile driving, heavy grinding, batch plants, heavy equipment operations, or similar operations. Sturdy, hard-toed leather work boots or work shoes are required for on-the-job use. Soft recreational shoes, such as sandals or tennis shoes, are not allowed. Eye and face protection is required when grinding, stain cleaning, welding, or brazing, and when working with any chemical product. Hard hats are mandatory safety equipment for all Reith Riley Craft employees. Do not walk or work underneath moving suspended loads. Defective tools and equipment are to be reported and turned in. Power tools must be inspected before use. All guards must be functioning properly. When you operate Reith Riley equipment, you are expected to inspect the equipment before startup to determine that the equipment is safe to operate and to complete the written inspection report. Seat belts must be worn when required. Silica is a common material found in the Earth's crust. Materials like sand, stone, concrete, and mortar contain silica. Construction workers could be exposed to airborne silica when cutting, grinding, drilling, sanding, mixing, or demolishing materials containing silica. Water spraying, vacuuming, or other ventilation or isolation can reduce the dust getting into the air. Respiratory protection may be needed. Consult your on-site supervisor for the required protection. OSHA requires that fall protection be provided at elevations of six feet in the construction industry. Types of fall protection include a harness and lanyard, guardrail system, or safety nets. When working at heights above six feet and within six feet of an unprotected edge, an employee must have fall protection. Ladders must be inspected before each use. Employees must maintain three points of contact at all times while using a ladder. A hole is a gap or void two inches or more in a floor, roof, or other walking working surface. Hole covers must be used and capable of supporting twice the intended load. Hole covers must be marked whole and securely fastened. Workers can be exposed to walking and work surface hazards that can result in slips, trips, falls, and other injuries or fatalities. Hazards such as tools, debris, trash, and materials must be kept clear of walking, working areas. On some job sites, irregular surfaces, such as excavated dirt or milled asphalt, create hazards. Asphalt can reach temperatures as high as 260 degrees. 
precautions must be taken to protect workers from burns. Chemicals in concrete can also burn the skin. If skin comes in contact with concrete or cement, wash the area immediately. Consult the SDS for hazard information. The function of temporary traffic control is to provide for the safe and efficient movement of vehicles, bicyclists, and pedestrians through or around work areas while protecting workers and equipment. Employees should not begin work until proper traffic control has been set. Inspect trenches daily before work begins. Keep heavy equipment away from trench edges. Be mindful of the location of utilities underground. Always wear proper protective equipment. Never enter an excavation or trench until a competent person indicates it is safe to do so. A confined space is large enough for an employee to enter and perform work. Has limited or restricted means for entry or exit. And is not designed for continuous occupancy. Never enter a confined space without proper safety procedures. Check with your supervisor. Electric power tools must be double insulated or have a three-pronged cord and are plugged into a grounded receptacle. Starting from the power source, use a ground fault circuit interrupter with electric power tools. Lockout tagout must be completed properly before equipment service or maintenance. Lockout tagout ensures that dangerous machinery and energy sources are properly shut off and are not started up unexpectedly. All flammable materials and liquids must be stored and labeled properly. Approved safety cans or Department of Transportation approved containers for the handling and use of flammable liquids in quantities of 5 gallons or less. Make sure fire extinguishers are charged and inspected. Extinguishers should be accessible. If you need an extinguisher, remember the word pass. P stands for pull the pin. A stands for aim the nozzle. S stands for squeeze the handle. And the last S stands for sweeping the nozzle across the base of the fire. Never endanger yourself or others in trying to extinguish a fire. Poor housekeeping is the main cause of slips, trips, and falls. You are responsible for keeping your job site clean. Debris, trash, materials, and tools should be cleaned up and when necessary, put in the trash before it becomes a hazard. We are delighted to welcome you to Reith Riley Construction. We're glad to have you on our team. At Reith Riley, please know that safety comes before all else. Safety of our employees, safety of our customers, and safety of the traveling public. We must always make time to do things right the first time. As such, we approach our work based on safety first, quality second, and then production. By doing so, everyone remains safe, we produce quality work, and we are productive. We will always want everyone to go home safely to their families at the end of the day. In order to do so, we need you to do your part as a member of the Reith Riley team. You can do your part by always placing safety first, quality second, and then production. Thank you for doing so, and welcome to the Reith Riley team.